Hello everyone, and big surprise all of you, because a bunch of friends. <clears throat> and as you see, we were like, supposed to go later, but we changed the time. Um, you know, we have a change of the schedule. Today our topic is Tom and Jerry make sense more than Islam. Uh, actually, not only make more sense, they make more sense, it is fun, uh, it's harmless. Um, I mean, we better, we can actually, you know, it's not even fair to compare Tom, Tom and Jerry to uh, Islam. But I will show you an example. This is a video made by a guy, I think he is uh, from, this, from the same country of Kadarov, you know, the puppy of um, uh, Putin, Muhammad Putin, peace be upon him. Uh, three words, can a race millions of sin? Three words. Did you see how easy Islam, you know, just three words. Three words can erase millions of sin. You know, the Muhammadan, they say to the Christians, Oh, you Christian, you believe that uh, because Jesus died for you, you can do as many sin as you want. This is not true, absolutely false. You should say to everyone, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, which means not everyone worship me, he will go to heaven. There's some, they will go, and some, they will not. But the one who do the will of my father. Uh, but in Islam, there's nothing commandment. There's nothing to preserve, not to do. Do as you wish, then say three words. Listen to carefully. This is the Muhammadan, not me. He's giving you guidance about the three words will save your life, will change your life, will make you go to heaven. What do you want more? Just three. Can erase. Three words can erase millions of minor sins. Yes. Now here the liar, he said minor sin. The hadith in the Muhammad he did not say minor sin. That is a lie. Nowhere in the hadith it says minor sin, it says sin. So three words. Three words. You say them, it erase your sin. Three words. Subhanallah wa bihamdi. Allahu Akbar. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa and the hadith is Bukhari and Muslim. And so ever say, Subhanallah wa bihamdi, 100 times, all the minor sins are forgiven, even if they were as much as the form of the sea. How they are minor and how, as a, even if they are in the size of the form of the sea, what does that mean? You see how the Muslim fabricate. If we go to the hadith, we will see there is no minor. This is about any sin you do, all sin. And here you ask yourself a very simple question. Isn't it this is encouraging to do sin? Isn't it this is how you encourage people to do sin? Because now what you are saying, just, uh, you know, Say, say this 100 times and go and do sin, you know? And you will see, nowhere it says that this is minor sin. This guy is a liar, as the rest of the Abdul. The Prophet said, read with me, and this is what he called a Sahih al-Bukhari Muslim, as you see here. The Messenger of God knows who, Allah, said, who alter a hundred times in a day these words, La ilaha illallah, do subhanahu wa ta'ala, la ilaha illallah, okay? And then, translation, there's no God except Allah. This is a different statement now, by the way. Uh, and he has no partner with him, he is a virgin, uh, he prays, uh, he etc. Uh, he reward equivalent, equivalent to that, okay, and then he, a hundred of good deed, blah, 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 okay, you know, and then it says here, we go down, those words, here, if you say 100 times, subhanAllah, this is what he was saying, subhanAllah, he will be hamdihi, hmm? 100 times a day, his sin will be erased, even if it's equal to the extent of a form of ocean. So when he add the word minor, he's just trying to make it look nicer. Now, why if I say those words, my sin is gone, and isn't it this is what encourage Muslims to commit sin? Is that why your Muslims go sleep around, uh, you know, kidnapping as a business uh, in many countries like in Chechnya, uh, in Syria, in Iraq, you know, uh, rape, uh, theft, drugs. And at the end of the day, you go home, you say, SubhanAllah, he will be hamdihi, 100 times. It takes you less than, less than a minute. How that can be from God? If we have any Muhammadan, please, our Skype is open, we will be happy to talk to you. Isn't it this is how you encourage people to commit sin? Go rape children, go kill, go rape women. And if in fact, raping women in Islam is not against, it's not sin. You see, we are Muslims, Muhammad, and we say the same words. Like, the Muslim, they say, they say sin. But for Muslim, sin is different from our sin. As an example, raving, raving, is not a sin in Islam. Actually, here we go, in front of everybody. I challenge one Muslim, any Muslim, to show me one phrase in the Quran saying, don't rape, and what is the penalty of rape, and if rape is sin in Islam. Just one. Nowhere. The God of Islam, he has time to tell us about the flying carpet of Solomon, but he doesn't have time to tell us what is the penalty and what to, what to do with someone who do rape. And exactly, you know, it was sin. Actually, even asking for sin is stupid, for forgiveness, because don't the Muslim believe in the predestiny? So how it's a predestiny and Allah is the one who made you commit sin, and then now he wants you to ask for forgiveness. But remember, Muhammad he says, if you don't commit sin and ask for forgiveness, Allah will kill you. If you don't commit sin and ask for forgiveness, Allah will kill you. Somebody saying what the Crusaders the do, man, they were not Muslim. The Crusaders they were fighting the Muslims' invasion. So look, even when the Muslims tried to refute us, supposedly, to show you how ignorant they are. It is you who attack our land, and we never have a Crusader until the Muslims invade and they took Jerusalem. So the Crusader was a response to the jihad of the Muhammadan, which is nothing but rape and killing and theft. A bunch of thousands of thieves attacked Jerusalem, stealing their Jews, kidnapping their women, raping women and children, taking them into slavery, and then he asked, what about the crusade? The crusade will respond. If you attack my town now, I will kill you. As simple as that. If you attack my house, I will shoot you. As simple as that. So you attack us in our home, and then when we fight you back, you complain. They are fascist. This is a fascist religion. This is a fascist religion. You see, and Putin now in Ukraine, he is learning from the fascist Muhammad. He attacked you in your home, and he claimed that you are a threat, but you are the weak. Because you don't praise Putin. You don't worship Putin. If you don't worship me, I will kill you. So the liars and the coward and the atheist, they always attack crusaders. But the crusaders actually, if not the crusader, all those atheists, they will be worshipping Allah by now and they will be Abdul. It was the crusader who saved you. If not the crusaders, all of Europe, all the, all the West will be Muslims by now. So you should be very grateful for the crusaders. But for sure, they will teach you differently in your stupid school because those are liberals who they taught you all lies about the crusaders. The crusaders they were criminals, they were thieves, but they will not tell you that it's the Muslims who came to our land, the Muslims who took our land from us, and we are not the one who invaded Mecca. Do we have any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan? He can call me and show me one thing 
In your stomach sense more than Tom and Jerry. Anyone? Who can show me one thing? In his in Islam, makes sense. Even not equal, you know, I'm not, I'm not asking you to make it equal because it's impossible to make it equal to Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry is fun. Islam is a stupid. Who is a Muhammadan would like to call us and show us that Islam is not a stupid cartoon? Made by a very, very stupid story writer. Who accepted the challenge? Anyone? Where is all those Muhammadan who make videos on YouTube? They want to refute me. It doesn't say that CP. CP is lying to you, CP. How come none of them dare to prove me lying live on air? Anyone? By the way, I want to say thank you for those who supported our uh, uh, the church and our friends in Ukraine. I'm really grateful for you. And don't forget, actually, I should post the link again. If the admin can post the link in the chat, please. Please keep supporting them. They need really great help. They send me today a video. They will publish it for you later. Uh, you know, they are really helping a lot of people and they are doing a great job. So we appreciate those who are donating to them. They need really your support. You know, if you're watching the videos, you see how horrible this war is and how filthy this, this, this mentally ill person put in. So uh, please support them, you know. And uh, actually, I'm going to post the link in, uh, in, the, in the info for the video. Let us see. <coughs> uh, with the link, uh, I, mean, I don't know, for some reason, the one you posted did not work. But uh, let me search for it anyway. I will post it again in the info because we deleted the, the videos about supporting them. You know, as you know, I don't, I don't give videos. Um, right now, we have 145 supporters for this church. And today, I saw the video. They have like a long line of people coming to, you know, to get help. You know, they are providing them with food and uh, uh, a lot of stuff. But remember, when you make donation today, they will not receive the money right away. It's going to take until next month. Until next month. After the sixth of the month, actually. Uh, but we will send it to them. And now, because of all, we do not know, actually, if it's going to receive in two days, five days, ten days, we don't know. You will see. This is the first time they ever did this. Receiving donation from Patreon. Uh, let me post the link in the video info. All right, I just posted. Here we go. You can refresh your, you know, from your site the info, and you can see it. Anyway, we go back to our topic. We have a bunch of donkeys here. Do we have any Muhammad who would like to call us and show us that Muhammad really is smarter than a cartoon in a Tom, Tom and Jerry cartoon? Islam is a religion or politics. Islam neither a religion neither a politics because politics have rules. Islam does not have rules. Islam is taqiyya, which means let us lie as much as we can. There's not, there's not even 1% like in politics. They might lie to you, let us say 70% lies, 30% true. Islam is, all of it is lies. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to call us? Uh, Ekar Omaji, he is saying, would you CP accept Islam? What does that mean? If I accept Islam, can you secure my penis? Is not going to become endless? As long? If you can give me a promise that Allah will not increase the size of my penis, we can discuss that. So you are asking me to accept Islam religion, telling me if you believe in me, I will make your penis endless? Is that a reward or a penalty? What kind of God, even Mickey Mouse and Tom and Jerry, never come with this cartoon? You believe in him, you make your penis endless. What do you do with it? Is that a pipeline? Is that a gas line? Is that an internet cable? Why a man, he need endless penis? I mean, have you ever heard of stupid religion more than this? So your wife is next to you and your penis coming to the galaxy, but she is next to you. What do you do with your penis now? We'll go and make your turn. And as long as your penis is endless, now your penis get in. And what will happen? When is going to get out? You don't have a religion, you have a donkey, you know, a God. It's not religion. Do we have any Muhammadan? The hot, the, hot, uh, uh, the hot girl is Aisha. She was horny at the age of four according to Muslims. And she used to decorate the slave girl so she can hunt women from Quraysh. Do you want to show you the hadith? Do you want to see? She used to put makeup on a girl, make her wear sexy clothes. Huh? And she sent her, and young youth, they follow her. So Aisha, she can F them. Do you want to see the hadith? Hmm? Challenge me, say it's not true. This is the book of Al-Musannaf. Value number three. Page number 461. It says, from, 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 and Aisha, 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 and when your prophet, his wife Aisha, she was captured, or let's say she was exposed, that she's having sex with someone, all the witnesses, Muhammad, he beat the hell of them, because this is his wife. <laughs> and he changed the Quran from two witnesses to four witnesses. And not only that, he changed even the ruling. So if Muhammad and he see his wife sleeping around, he have to bring four witnesses, and they have to see the penis of the man going in and out. Now I challenge you <coughs> to practice that. Your wife in bed, hmm? you enter the house, and then you find a guy in the top of your wife. Or she is in the top of him, I don't know which one your wife you like, you know better. And then, you can do nothing about it. If you accuse her of fornication, the caliphate will beat you, will whip your back 100 lashes. 
because you did not provide four witnesses who they have to witness that her penis or his penis he was getting in and out. Let us about this guy, he's just being 50. Do we have any brave Muslim Muhammadan 